morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today so yesterday we got a bit of an engulfing bar the previous day we had a pretty large indecision bar so if I look at the oscillators um, look at this here this is a warning bell uh, especially when the both stochastic separate like this far apart I think we've had one on the daily but um, I'll show you one on hopefully on a lower time frame. So you know there's two ways to play these these oscillators. One is when they group all to the upside or the downside that you start looking for a level, and the other one is when they do this. This is just a wind bell. Now in my mind, what we should be looking for is still another move to the upside. Um, we do have a gap here, and that would be my first guess. Okay, so we're at uh, 10,100, which is what I would expect us to, to tag. We do have this head and shoulders here. So let's just get that in there. Here's my, here's my shoulder, here's my big head, and here's another shoulder. And we've got a close above the shoulder. So I would expect this gap to close. Then I would want to see a bit of a pullback to come and test either the shoulder or the top of the neck shoulder so both those fractals there are what I'd be looking for if we can get a pullback onto that and uh, we hold that level and we don't have to hold it on a, a high level we can come down to an hour or a half hour even and if we manage to hold those two levels then there would definitely be some kind of an opportunity for us to get long again but what's concerning me is looking at the daily but then look at the hour we are grouping Oscillators are grouping, so what is it telling us? Watch out, there's a level coming. Okay, and I have a feeling the level is this gap. So that's uh, pretty much 10,100. Okay, so that's the trade that I see us having at the moment. Um, that's 260 odd points from the close. And if I look at where we are at the moment, uh, DAX futures is down quite substantially right now, 1.7%. Uh, so 9878. Let's see where that is. That's 10,000. So we're down here somewhere. 9877. That's close enough. So right now, uh, futures market indicating gap down. Wouldn't surprise me, uh, but I think it'll come back just before the open and then an opportunity to get to that gap. Once we have the gap, then we're going to have to wait for some structure. I don't think we're going to get any, uh, I don't think we're going to get fireworks at the moment, although every day is fireworks right now. But uh, I think we, we're going to find either try and build some structure or a base to, to start building further on these gains or it's going to fail horribly so what we want to do is just come to the Ichimoku because this I'm not really interested in the hour okay what we want to do is look at the four hour so we are bullish on the crossover we are bullish on, on sugar span and we are bullish on the twist in the cloud we haven't broken through the cloud yet although on the Dow Jones we have broken through the cloud so there's two there's two scenarios looking at each move. This could turn out to be a double top and that we move down, or it could just range a bit, which is what looks like is happening, and then a breakthrough. And then you've got your levels. Your first level is obviously this gap. Okay. And your second level, I actually don't think we have a daily for that. Okay, so we're going to have a few levels here. That's going to be the first one. And then we have one there. And we have one there. And we just come back to the four hour here. And you'll see there's a lot of congestion in that area there. So that's kind of the area that I'd expect something to happen. If the, if the bears are going to get control of this again, that's where they're going to, they're going to look. We're going to look in this area here. If we do this on the daily, 
you'll see there was quite a bit of indecision with buyers and sellers in this area as well. The trouble with all of this is look at the look at Ichimoku. Kids and Tickinson far apart. We're in between Kids and Tickinson, that means we are potentially going to range for a couple of days. Black cloud range. Uh, Chico span is negative. We're below the cloud, negative. Um, Kids and Tickinson in this fashion is also negative. So all of these indications are indicating that this could just be a technical bounce. Uh, don't be too surprised if we get the next gap close as well. And I would more than likely look at a, a Fibonacci of this. Oh, Fibonacci is not going to help us. Um, sorry, guys, let me just change that to something we can see. Okay, so you know, we, we're coming up to 30%, 32% Fibonacci. 50% is right on Kijinson here. Okay, if I just adjust this to this last leg here, you'll see we're fairly close to the 50 and the 61, and that's in this area of congestion. So while I'm doing that is, there was our first leg down, pull back, second leg down. So this is our second leg. So what we want to see is where we're going to end up on the second leg. Okay, so summary for me is pretty simple. Uh, still looking for longs. To the hour. Definitely still looking for longs, but only as far as this gap. And then I'll probably be, I would take profit at that point and watch what happens. Maybe even take a nibble at a short. Uh, it should uh, there should be some sellers there, so you should be able to get in fairly quickly and move your stops to entry pretty quickly and then see what happens. Okay, but if we do find some structure here. Um, don't be too surprised and you'll see that inverse head and shoulders play out and that could be a nice little recovery as well because that's fairly decent uh, trade yeah, that is going to be somewhere in the region of a thousand seven hundred points to the upside okay anyway guys um, hope that helps and uh, we'll catch you later cheers for now